Why is everything, everything muted? muted? Okay. <laughs> we are back. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we haven't crashed yet, so that's a good sign. I did open my window a little bit more, and we'll just... I'm hoping that the setting changes and just kind of dialing everything down. Even though it doesn't look quite as pretty, at least hopefully we'll get through the game. <laughs> so, we just finished a conversation over food. I know there's an echo, apparently. Oh, there's an echo? Is there... Oh, I see it. Okay. How about now? I think that's better. Mm-hmm. I think I fixed it. <clears throat> Sweet. Okay, so I think it's because the voices is not... Okay, let me just get rid of that. One second, Michael. I gotta add an audio output capture to the screen. Okay, now everyone can hear everybody. Yay! And there's Woo. not going to be any more echoes. Because the uh, thing that used to use your voices um, was you picking up my microphone. So, oh, <laughs> so I had neat. To that. All right. Ooh. So, yeah, I think we need to go right into a dance. So that's going to be my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> who, uh, who are you specifically partnered with before everybody else shows Kim. up? All right. We're dancing nice. together. <laughs> yeah. So, so. Ha- I mean, I think we know, well, we know why we're at this party. And I do want to kind of describe this party because mm-hmm. I think it's not going to be quite what you all expect. Because there's this, like, yeah. there's this idea of Bantresh and like just the idea of nobility in general, just like being all hoity-toity and refined and whatever. And this is more of like a party like it's it's not a ball this is a party so there's mm. like there's like an open bar people <clears throat> yeah there's like that music yeah. going down there's um like no mm-hmm. one's in fancy dress it's like it's like more like club wear i feel and or like people are in flight suits or some people are wearing like nicer stuff but they're the ones that stand out and look out of place so mm-hmm. um I think it is in the ballroom of my uh, my estate, but like there's it's a, not a ball. It's not a ball. There's a DJ. There's like like the the colored lights shining everywhere. It's like it's more like a rave than a ball. Let's be honest. Uh-huh. <laughs> I I think that I, I think that um, Petra is wearing the nicest thing she owns. And, she's... and it still looks appropriate. Aww, Petra. <laughs> like it, it still looks like I'm dressing down. <laughs> um, I think that Kim is here in her flight suit because she doesn't have civil civilian clothing. Okay. So her her choices are like her dress uniform or her flight suit. And so she went with flight suit. Because mm-hmm. that was acceptable wear in the invitation that she got. Mm-hmm. Um, how did we come? Oh, I guess uh, are are you there as as well, um, Doc? It better be. He drug me to this thing. <laughs> yeah, or maybe I'm like, <laughs> I let you know that I'll be there in like five minutes. Just like, don't worry, go have fun, go meet some people. I'll be there in five. Okay. And like, <laughs> I think Doc shows up in like the just the nines. Like he thought this was like a like a party like. Like a, ball. a band trash party, yeah. Like he, a band trash. Even though you were dressed down for the thing, like for the meal, he thought it was like, like up mm. there. Yeah. So he shows up and is like, he's got like a nice washed, um, kind of like suede leather jacket, but Do you like have a bolo tie. Yeah, like everything, <laughs> everything is like that. And then like you go down to his his feet, but he's still got his like his uh, steel toed mech like his pilot boots on because he doesn't have doesn't have like regular shoes because regular shoes you'll lose your feet on the work site mm. so he said i think she i think she just is like standing next to you at the bar <laughs> and she's yeah. like i feel like she's wearing like a skirt dress or something like that or maybe like <laughs> you're you're at the bar and like we see you and you're like your your outfit and then yeah. all of a sudden the door the door opens and like <laughs> It's like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> like I'm the, making an entrance. 
the Honorable Mr. Doc Maday. Boom! Door it's, open. It's Mayday, you frickin' jerks. <laughs> <laughs> you get, I like, like how you, yeah, you, you get it. <laughs> I like that that sets you off, but you can't pronounce anything else. That's great. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Kim, how did we come to be dancing together? So I think uh, definitely this is there's like that that thumping club music going, and like there's like this just generic mob of people that are kind of dancing their own thing, and by dancing together, it's just like our our eyes lock for one second as we happen to be like uh, dancing similarly to each other in this area, and so we just kind of navigate a little bit closer together. Uh, and then, like, the crush of the dance pushes us even closer. Um, in this moment, the dance allows me to step close to you and linger very near. Am I welcome? Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so I guess we're establishing you're the worst dancer? Uh, <laughs> I, I guess so, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, between the two of us, I'm definitely the worst dancer. Okay. I'm, I'm not, like, a bad dancer. I'm just better. You are just better. Exactly. Okay. I mean, I feel that. <laughs> Michael, I have no idea what clothes are. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't know what a... I was imagining... What are... They're like... When I think skirt dress, I think like... It's like a skirt. It's like mini skirt length. But it's like a full... It, it doesn't like separate. It's like an actual like dress. Like a summer blouse kind of thing. Yeah, but it... Does that like like the like, top and the it, bottoms are connected together? That's a dress, mm -hmm. Michael. That's a, that's a dress, but it's skirt length. <laughs> that's what I'm it, thinking. It's just a short dress, like a tube dress. Yes. Perfect. Okay. But like kind of skanky. Uh, I mean, so a tube dress. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> like a dress, but shorter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um. So I am gonna let. Um, either Michael or Andrew go next before I... But the way this game plays out, we each get to ask two questions. They're not necessarily to the same people. So, like, I could ask Kelsa a question and I could ask Andrew a question. I could I could skip Kelsa and just ask Michael and Andrew questions. So Yes. Cool. It's like this idea that you're not always dancing with the same person. Mm -hmm. It's just this, this formation of a dance. Mm-hmm. Uh... So does anyone have any ideas? If not, I can, I can go. I'll let you go first. I have an idea, but I want to see what you do. Okay. So I think there's that moment where um, Kim and Mishka are dancing very closely. And um, then we see Doc's entrance in the background and he's just very overdressed. <laughs> And um why do I imagine him silhouetted and we just see like the glow off his like clothing? I think I, I peel away from Kim and mm -hmm. I say, I'll find you later, darling. <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, you get you get a, the you get the wink. <laughs> and I, I go to greet Doc and um I think um I look you over and say, You have good taste. Is uh it's not what is suited for party, but I like it. You should you should come dance, and I like grab your arm and drag you onto the dance floor, and um. Let's see. At this moment in the dance. You may place your hand upon my elbow, my shoulder, my waist, or my hip. Which do you choose? How old is mm. Doc? I'm curious. Um, he's probably late twenties, early thirties. Okay. Okay. Well, how? What is like the age scale in this universe? Do people die fairly early, or no? Or it depends on wealth and kind I of. Like, I, I mean, mean, I feel like it's very close to. If you're an ace age. pilot, then um, you know you may die horribly in a giant mech crash. But otherwise, yeah. you know, we're space failing civilization. So I think people living to 100 is not uncommon. Like living to 100 and being active until 100 is not mm -hmm. uncommon. Yeah, I would feel that too. I think I'm late 20s, early 30s, but I look a little older because I've been, I've been like 
um, in some in some pretty heated battles. Mm -hmm. Not all of that is evident yet, but yeah. So I kind of like give a sly smirk. I'm like <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit overdressed, and then like I like unbutton some of my um, unbutton my jacket, and like I've got like a tucked in black. It's like almost matte, but like it's got like shiny floral. Oh, like, it's got oh, like yeah. pearlescent thread. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. yeah, and I just like I just like look at my look at my jacket and like hand it off to one of the people that I came in with because I came with like a small entourage. Oh, of course. <laughs> I swear then, to God, Doc is one of the people I went to high school with. <laughs> <laughs> well, that <In> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, when you when you pull me into the dance floor, I definitely put my my hand or my arm around your waist. And okay. we start to, we start to dance. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Definitely. Um, uh, Mishka is hoping husband does not catch her. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? I think. Um, <laughs> uh, I th think I'll go next if that's okay. Uh, there's a moment when the dance allows me to step closer to Kimber, uh, Kimberly. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Such a good name. <laughs> you can go with just Lieutenant Burley. That, that, that with, makes with, it easier. With Lieutenant Burley. Uh, mm -hmm. I, and I, I don't think it's necessarily intentional. I think it's more like in the crush, I kind of got moved in your direction. And I'm just like next to you now. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that you've made me yet, but you've definitely made me as a rebel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, am I welcome? Um, I don't think so. And I think it's uh, I think it's subtle. Like you come up right next to her, and uh, you're like about to apologize for like hip checking. Yeah, her I, I, like, I, actually, I actually get like bumped into you, right? Yeah, and then you like go to apologize, and she's already gone. Uh, I, so, like, she's she just hot steps two people away and now there's other people between you and her just suddenly is uh maybe a little bit offended but she's also like there's also like that moment where she's like oh shit either she's a bitch or i'm made <laughs> <laughs> uh and and you know she she does it with um uh, you know such i i don't want to say poison grace but just like it was was it discomfort if, or if, disdain neither neither okay it it was it was like if you weren't a rebel and knew and didn't or didn't know that she was a landowner like you would have no reason to be paranoid about this move like mm -hmm. it was just very smooth like twist around another person and suddenly there's mm -hmm. a couple between you guys uh but it seemed natural at the time to anybody else looking uh-huh and I, I, but the, it's just that like subtle moment of like i'm gonna have to watch out for you aren't i mm -hmm. uh, and then she like Maybe she retreats back to somewhere else, like goes and gets a drink. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my second one here. Andrew hasn't uh, gone yet, though. Wait, you haven't gone at all? I'm so Not sorry. Yet. I was gonna skip you. I apologize. I wasn't gonna skip you. <laughs> so don't let me skip you. <laughs> Mishka, something about me catches your eye, and your look lingers. What is it? Um. Hmm. Oh, sorry, not Mishka. Um, okay. Kelsey's character. Kim. Early. Kimberly. Burley. Mm -hmm. I, I have my thing open, so I'm like not seeing all the names right away. I see. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's all good. We're we're already like we are grinding. It's it's good. Mm -hmm. So what was your? Something about me catches your eye and it lingers. Uh, it's obviously your flamboyant style. Like, and I think maybe she catches your eye, like, across the party as you're, like, you've got this, like, suit. Everything about it, it's too fancy for where you are, 
but it is very nice. And I, I think you get like a subtle, like from across the room, she gives like a subtle up nod of appreciation, like. Um, so definitely your your style is something that she approves of. Cool. Awesome. Which is totally not my style. I totally won it in another game. Uh, I know, she has no idea, <laughs> she has no idea. Yeah. Um, Okay, Let's, now you can take your. I like I like the idea that you are <laughs> bankrolling the rebellion by cheating at cards. <laughs> oh, much. it's it's really good. <laughs> when I, when uh, I get found out, it's gonna be hell, though. <laughs> so I think uh, I think throughout this time, after after she ke- after she like notices, um, Doc, uh, I think she like drifts her way over there. Mm-hmm. And um, and starts to uh, starts to dance with him on purpose, and you may at this moment in the dance place your hand on my elbow, my shoulder, my waist, or my hip, which you choose. It's the best. That's why. It's, it's a really good one. <laughs> it's a really good one. I, I kind of like. I'm still dancing with uh, with Mishka, and like the the dance takes a lull. Like maybe the song is like. It's just got the drum track playing while we wait for this. Does your, hu- does your husband, sh- does Mishka, does hu- your husband shoot you a look and you're just like, oh, got the goal. <laughs> <laughs> what um, I was going to say is like, I keep on looking For some reason, I feel like forward. she's like her husband is off planet, which is why she's hosting this party. I mean, mm. I'm down for that. <laughs> that makes sense. Big like in my head. While he's gone. <laughs> in my head, Doc is like, this is my night. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so like he's, he's dancing with Mishka rather rather seductively. Closely. seductively closely there's grinding going on let's be and, honest <laughs> and lieutenant kim comes over and she like that has the opportunity as well and i kind of like look at both and i know they were both dancing together before i'm like well isn't this fun and then we i could both dance together could, right I, now. could i have like both arms because i have two <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm down for that there's oh, some that's... awkwardness happening here. I... I think we just I think we just see Petra and she's just got like this look on her face like what is really going yeah on? because really you know, Petra is my friend from years ago and I took her to the party and now I'm dancing with two other girls <laughs> what an asshole dog Petra oh, just starts gosh. chain smoking in rage well <laughs> just... okay so I would like to go ahead and take my uh, my next and my last uh, turn mm-hmm. in here. Mm-hmm. And um, this is later in the night. Mm-hmm. Everyone has had a lot of opportunity to hit the bar. So there's a lot of drunk people doing drunk things. Um, but I can hold my liquor. And the crush of the dance has um, pushed Mishka and Petra together. Mm-hmm. And so... I'm willing to dance with you. I don't know how you feel about it because um, this is um, the dance's figure brings you to dance with someone else, whom, but when the dance brings you back to me again, are you pleased or disappointed? Um, do you have a, do you have like a, do you have like a, are any of your kids at this party? Um, or are they off with the sitter? I probably, like my eldest son probably is. He's like fourteen, and I would let him drink because that's Cause it's you're a all, great it's all, mom. Well, you know. no, it's because that's what you do on this planet, and he's a responsible young man who needs to learn how to hold his liquor if he's going to be in this family. I, I think <laughs> it's I think it's me. I think it's uh, I don't know what is what is more interesting that it's me or that I get forced back together with Kimberly again. And I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I mean, it way, depends be... on if you would ra- if you would be pleased to dance with me, or if you. Oh, I would be super pleased to dance with you. <laughs> <laughs> or if you would rather be disappointed to be dancing with me. Uh. I'm yeah, I, I'm guessing I end up. Well, it's either with a child or with a with a person that probably is going to kill me at some point. Um, <laughs> then I think, I think Kim I, is. Interesting. I think it's I think it's Kimberly. I should be I, I Kim. Think it's Ki- it should be Kim and Doc 
You get pushed into that crush. I get pushed into that mess. <laughs> I get pushed into that mess, and I think you see me like three people away, and my eyes are just wide. Like, oh god, help. And, and I, so, like, end up... <laughs> yeah. I think, like, I see that, I read that, and I'm like, I'm like, I lead you a bit away from them, because, like, I could tell you are uncomfortable with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, she seems relieved, she's just like, oh, thank you, that got, that got Irish, uh, (laughs) that's wrong. It's a little bit of drinking, and you're suddenly Irish. (laughs) Happens to the best of us. A little bit of we don't actually know what Petra's Irish. real accent is. I mean, yeah, yeah. it could be put on. <laughs> She's in the witness protection program, and her voice box keeps on getting messed up by the alcohol. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you. That was that was helpful. I'm sorry. There's um, no need to be sorry. This party have good time. A good time. What are you talking? Wink. <laughs> She's just like, hey, if we want to have a good time, let's have a good time. <laughs> All right. Then. And I think that's, uh, I think that when that particular dance ends, do you stand with me or rush away? I'll stand with you. Yeah. I'm perfect. down to tap all of this right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> all at once, everyone. It's a party. It's a good party. <laughs> hmm. So I have one more question left. Yes. Does anyone, does anyone else have a, a one left? I think it's just yeah. you. You are the only one. Okay. So I'm still dancing with uh, Lieutenant Kim. Mm-hmm. Or Lieutenant Burley, I guess. Yes. <laughs> maybe maybe I call I call you Lieutenant Kim, like your 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 title and your first name, even though I've only just met you. <laughs> yeah, and like I, I, I think she laughs and she's like, "Just Kim is fine." Well, you can call me, uh, what's, uh, what's a, what's a more longer name for Doc? Murdoch. You can call me Murdoch. Because that's, like, my actual name. Mm-hmm. Um, your mouth is close to my ear. Do you, what do you say? Like, we're just ending the dance and, like, kind of, yeah, like, so and she, everybody gets laid. Yay. She, she <laughs> leans, she leans close and she says... I've had a really good time here, Murdoch. Me too, Miss Kim. Yeah, and she kind of nods and like, uh, I think as she's like pulling away, she like like um, were you wearing a vest or just like a a shirt? A shiny you grabbed like, by his bolo tie. It, it was like a jacket before, but now it's like the the dress shirt underneath the jacket. Okay. Just a dress shirt. It's probably pretty sweaty by now, and probably has some drinks on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <Look> him. <laughs> uh, I think that she uh, uh, she she pulls away and uh, and she's like like uh, touches like where there's like a, a spot of drink that's spilled on your shirt and like mm-hmm. like runs her finger around it and says. Um, you really should be more careful next time. Oh, you know, maybe that's good advice around dangerous people. I give you a wink. <laughs> and I think when you when you like when you like this is the bad the bad word finger my my <laughs> dress shirt and like around the stain. Uh-huh. On, you need to change the know. content radius. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, <underneath. laughs> It's probably like underneath my clavicle. Mm. You, you feel like the hardened metal of implant that you're so familiar with. Ooh, mm. interesting. Yeah, yeah. And that, can, unless anyone else has anything they want to say or add, that's going to conclude the dance. Nope, I'm good. Nice. I'm good. So, who would like to choose the next game? I've we already wanna... gone. Michael's already gone. Um, I would like to go. And I think this is going to be uh, sometime later, like probably a week or more later. 
and mm-hmm. I would like to meet sword to sword. Oh yes. Oh okay. dang. Um, who I want to meet sword to sword with? I feel like um. I'll pull up the setup for that. I feel like I feel like I make Petra. the most sense. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. It's probably Petra. So, uh, are we so, in our mech suits? Uh, I I think we're I think we're in our mechs. Yes. So meeting sword to sword is a two player game. Only you and your chosen partner play. Here here's here's a question. Uh is this actual combat or are you participating in one of the races? Ooh. Uh if it was a race, wouldn't it be more like a chase? Uh either I think I think sword to sword kind of makes sense because it's exclusively like combat racing. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Um, yeah, I love it. I think she is participating in one of the races with her, um, her, her bipedal, um, uh, milkmaid marked three, mm-hmm. um, with its battle skirt that turns into razor swords and other mm-hmm. classic, um, uh, fembot tropes. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I have like the four, like the four legged, like, it's like a, it's like a heavily, heavily modified, like loader mech. <laughs> Mm. Basically, it's got like it's it's got like a four-legged base, um, and it has like swords, basically. Yeah, and I think like there's like um, like a tarp stapled over the PTA logo. Um, that's so mm-hmm. that it it's like she's it's very obvious who she is, but uh-huh. she's like going for like deniability. Mm-hmm. And there's like a like a um like a smiley face painted on this like flag that's covering <laughs> up the the logo of her uh, uh mm-hmm. of the uh landowner uh faction that has provided this mech. Mm-hmm. So uh she's uh per- per- pretending um to not be a landowner to be in this race. Mhm. Where, uh, and are you are you racing because you know that I race? Is that like something you figured out? Like, do you no. know you're fighting me, or are uh, you just here? I don't. I not until we get here. Okay. Um, I think she's been trying to get into the races for a little while. Um, because she knew that some she'd heard rumors that some of the resistance participated in these races. Mm-hmm. But she didn't know it was specifically you. Yeah, I think you see. I think you see Petra's like messy brown bun uh, before you see, and like she's like facing away, like fixing something on her mech suit. Mm-hmm. So yeah. before you begin the duel, um, I just want to explain how it works. Yes, mm-hmm. the way that it's going to work is that each participant in the duel is going to take turns asking leading questions back and forth. The one who is better with the sword, or in this case, probably the better racer, begins. Mm -hmm. At any time after the third leading question, either of you can choose to ask one of the closing questions instead. Play Mm -hmm. continues until an answer ends the duel. Probably until one of you is out of the race or one of you is won. But however you Mm -hmm. decide to work that. Please continue. Uh, yeah, so I, I think I think you see I think we our eyes like meet and I like pulled like the visor on my like helmet down mm-hmm. and then just like climb up the ladder and get into my cockpit. Uh, and then I think the race is ready to start. So uh, who of you is the better racer? Uh, I think it's definitely Petra. Yeah. Um, Uh, I think, uh, I think the, I think the minute the, like, like we get the light lights, red, 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 yellow, green, go. (laughs) And the minute that happens, my mech just body slams yours. (laughs) It's like, it's like, Uh, I'm not even worried about getting off the line. It's just slamming into you and like coming down at you with my sword. Uh, uh, and I... What is uh blah, blah 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 I launch a sustained attack with my weight behind it. Do you give ground readily or grudgingly? Uh I give ground readily. As you pummel into me, I dance backwards like uh-huh. uh, a ballerina and uh then sprint directly away from you off the starting line. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, uh, mine's. I, I I imagine we're kind of at the same pace because I'm assuming my mech's faster. But yes. Sure. Um, <clears throat> but we're like fighting. Right. Um, so uh, I pretend to falter and dip my blade. Do I draw you out or do you recognize the ploy? So as she's running full tilt away, um, mm -hmm. she she like has her her sword out in one hand um, and she she stumbles like sword point in the ground um, and waits for you to to catch up. And as soon as you do, or if you do, She's gonna lash out with an attack. Uh, I think that's I I, I I think that's not like the rookie play, but I think that's the I have a little bit of experience doing this play, mm. and so she's just like, no, I'm not I'm not gonna fall for it, because if you cut <laughs> off my legs, I'm out. <laughs> she, she like she like back she like doesn't necessarily like she continues like she's gonna go past you. Mm -hmm. but maybe like jumps at the last minute out of your range. It's yeah. not like I'm going in for attack. It's like, I'm, I'm avoiding you. Gotcha. And I'm just going to interrupt real briefly since Andrew had mentioned he wasn't sure when to play solitaire right now would be a good time to play, time solitaire. To play solitaire. Yeah. That's uh -huh. actually what I'm doing right now. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Please continue. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I avoid, uh, I think there's like a there's like a rolling scissors kind of thing going on where we're like mm -hmm. passing and taking swipes at each other then coming back at each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, uh, we circle, sword tips touching. What do you say? Like I'm assuming we have like comms into each other's cockpits. What do you say? Sure. Um, I'm not here to win the race, you know. Here for you. You picked a you picked a dangerous sport to try not to win at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, then I am going to reply with, uh, "I thrust and you barely turn it a fraction slower, and you've been cut through." Does this accelerate or thrill you? Uh. Or chill you, sorry, exhilarate or chill. That's very different. I think she's stoked. <laughs> she's like, going to have to do better than that. Um, and then she, uh, like, like I imagine like my mech has like grabbed yours in like a half Nelson. Yeah. And my sword is like, uh, to your clavicle, do you submit or do you twist away and rejoin? Um, yeah, I'm going to twist away and rejoin. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I managed to, basically, my mech folds in a way that, like, it, it's built to look like a human, mm -hmm. but it doesn't act it does, like one. It, it's not restricted, so, like, human movement. So she winds up, like, leaning backwards at an impossible, like, the, the, uh -huh. the figure of the mech leans backwards at an impossible angle mm -hmm. in order to, uh, get out of your half Nelson and uh, on her way out, uh, she cuts you along the ribs or across the arm. Do you withdraw and run or do you re rejoin the fight? Because as she's pulling out, this is when her sword flared, her, sorry, her skirt flares up into swords and she like spins out of your reach. Uh, the razor sharp skirt cutting across your chest. Uh, yeah, I think, and I'm, I imagine the cockpit is in the chest, so. Oh, no. No! Huge dash in the middle of it. We lost you for a second there. Uh, I imagine the cockpit is in, like, the torso of the mech, so we see the, like, in, like, the sensor arrays on the head. Mm -hmm. And so we see, like, the, we see, like, the view from inside the cockpit, and there's, like, a huge, met, like, huge gash through the cockpit uh, window. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I think she's going to keep, uh, what was the, what were my options? Keep fighting? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, she, uh, run away or keep fighting. Yeah, I think it's, I think she like pommels your mech in the face, and, like shoves you off uh, as we're running at like several thousand miles per hour. <laughs> uh, 
you touch me, cutting me along the ribs and across the arm. Do you press your attack or give me a moment? Mm. I think I'm going to give you a moment. This is where I'm racing towards the finish line again. Because mm -hmm. I still, like, I said I don't want to win, but also I kind of want to win. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's that's fine. Um, so in that case, um, I think. Uh, I'm gonna. Ask oh oh, uh, it's my turn because you just asked me. Yeah. Um, I seize momentum driving forward and initiate, and initiate momentum and initiative and drive you back as I race forward. If you stand, throw. On heads, you can pull me back. On tails, I cut you through, killing you. Uh, just your mech, though. Uh, do you stand oh, or allow yourself so to be driven? Oh, that's so good. And then that also. So, like, like I'm running forward, but like I have like missiles that mm -hmm. pop out of my back, and they're both propelling me forward and sh like shooting me backwards. That's. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that's definitely illegal in this sport, <laughs> but I don't think you care. No, I don't. I'm, uh, not, I'm, I'm not, gonna throw. I told you okay. I wasn't here to so, win. So, I have a coin here that yes. you can actually flip. <gasps> so you got heads. So, uh, what does that mean? I keep going, or you, you hold her back so she doesn't cross the finish line yet? Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I I think I think you I think you like um. Yeah. I, I think it I think it's like weirdly I think it's weirdly mirrored. I think what happens is she the like mech like gets like a sudden burst of speed as like the jet engines pop. Mm -hmm. And she's like cutting through the rockets in midair, lands on you and like gets her sword to your neck, to your oh, to your, like your mech's cockpit. Uh my sword point is high under your chin. Do you submit or flee? Um, I think I think it just goes a little bit into the metal and twists slightly, but it's not enough to do like internal damage. Uh huh. Uh, I think I flee. I think uh, I know I've already broken the the rules of this uh, engagement, and my ploy did not work. Mm -hmm. And so, um, w once again, uh, twisting <clears throat> in ways that it should not be able to, it like. Uh, the, the the mech manages to get out from under your sword and she like does that um does that move where like she like runs up the torso of the other mech to do a mm -hmm. backflip and then uh jets away from the from the whole fight and gets out of there oh that's so cool i want to i want to say that anyone who was <laughs> wanted to be watching this event was watching it just because oh, sure. i think that would be interesting mm -hmm. i definitely watch all the mech races yeah, and then so I think we see I think we see you like fly off into the distance, and I complete the race because mm -hmm. there were it wasn't just us racing; we were just the first two. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think like we cockpit, were the only ones that mattered. Like co the cockpit pops open, and uh, she like takes off her helmet and like wipes some like blood from her lips because of like impacts and stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely doing something else. You're definitely. Doing I'm, something. I'm definitely not there. Okay. Maybe noticeably so because I'm kind of a big personality. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's perfect. That's perfect because I think I think Petra is like, like I think she gets out and like goes to her pit crew and she's like, "Where the fuck is Doc?" <laughs> got my, my got me on call. She's like, "Where the fuck are you? Where the fuck is Doc?" Uh, uh, also, get a message back to like, "Busy, winky face." Ha <laughs> winky face, perfect. <laughs> also, uh, Derek, speak. Oh no, Michael. What oh, did I? You, you did I lose myself? Off. Yeah, you did. What did you say? It's because I am a Russian spy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, um, one, beautiful. That was great. That whole Thank thing you. was beautiful. Um, I have fun narrating stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and go to our second break here. When we come back, Andrew is going to do his first game of the thing. Though obviously you've played some solitaire, so it's not like your mm -hmm. first first game. But yeah, we are mm -hmm. gonna take a break. Um, Michael, you said you had to move some stuff, so yeah, it, it shouldn't take more than five ten minutes. Okay, it should so not be long. It might be a bit of a longer break than expected. 
compared to our last one, but we'll be back as soon as Michael's back. Michael um, comes back completely ripped. You just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. It's gonna be good. All right, so we'll be back in just a little bit. <laughs>